Today I'm going to try and do our own pea meal bacon. We've got one and a half pounds of pork loin center cut here, a scale and the cure. This is pre-mixed cure. It's got uh, brown sugar, salt, kosher salt and uh, nitrates in it at the right mixture. So because this is one and a half pounds, the instructions on this bag say half an ounce per pound. So I'm going to put in one and a half ounces. And looking at it, it just looks like salt. So I've already put a plate on the top, a bowl on the top there. Let that energize and show zero off. And make sure that we're on ounces, yes. There's half an ounce. So half an ounce is about a tablespoon. There's one ounce. One point three, one point four, one point four five. I need another seven grains by the looks of it. No. No. One fifty. Put the rest back in. So, 150 of the cure and the one and a half pound of center cut loin. And it's already been out of the packet and rinsed. And so, what I'm going to do now is simply use all this and rub it in here on both sides, obviously. I just generally just spread it over do the sides and everything and then turn that baby over Right, so that's the exact quantity of the cure on there. And this slab is about an inch thick. Now, I'll go and wash my hands and I'll come back. Alright, we'll turn that baby off. Next step is to slip this into a Ziploc type bag and we'll just gently slide that in there like so and fold the top over wash my hands again. As I was saying, slide the top over. Just exhaust as much air as you can. And seal her up. Now, this is the waiting period. We'll now place this in the fridge for seven days. And we'll turn it every day. Just do a full 180, just a full turn around it every one day. So I'll come back to you in seven days' time. Okay, now back to 
the female. It's now had its uh, seven days in the fridge curing, turned every day. So we'll take it out. Next step is to give it a good wash in cold water. Now there's a nice slab of what's going to become pea meal bacon. And it's all cured. A wash there. I have to let it let it set for uh, oh, an hour. Let it sit for an hour in water. So let's uh, let that sit till shortly after one o'clock and then we'll do the next step. Okay we've had it soak in there for a, an hour, gave it another good wash and a rinse you know and took it out and it, we're now going to pat dry. So we'll just use a standard paper kitchen towel roller there and give it a good pat dry we squeeze at the same time so that's done and you'll also notice that this was a quite a thick slice of fat that was on here I trimmed that down with the knife that I just sharpened today. I took a sixteenth of an inch off that. Wee, wee bits of gersel here and there. So that's done. And now I'll place it onto this and get another piece of or Give it, give it a coat, a light coat of uh, extra virgin olive oil. That's uh, just a nice wee coat in there. Next step is cornmeal, yellow cornmeal. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on. get as much as you can on you know and it just gives it a nice finish
since we've given it a little cover of that I'm going to wrap it up here wrap it up put it in the fridge for you know a couple of hours and then I'll come back and slice it I'm just putting it in the fridge to let it firm up a little bit and it'll be easier to slice okay I'll come back at that stage okay the next step is take this guy out the fridge look at it very nice put it on the cutting board and then you have to put a square on it and take a reading take a reading uh, 8.25 take a reading 8.25 then divide it by 0.25 and then we've got a plate sitting here ready and then we're going to try and slice this baby up now I sharpened this knife today I don't know if you'll see it but it cuts the hair right off my arm so this is this baby is sharp so we're going to try and cut that up into about 0.25s Let's do it, eh? Fold it over. Oh, look at how pink it is. Oh my god, look at how pink it is. Oh. And I'm not cutting it actually straight down. I'm cutting it at a very slight angle. Oh my god, look at how pink that is. Wow. This is absolutely awesome. Pink, pink, pink. So, as I say, I'm cutting it at 0.25 and not actually at 90 degrees to the horizontal I'm cutting it at a very slight angle wow wow look at that that is unbelievable ever nice Look out, uh, Mr. P. Meal Bacon Maker. John's coming. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. And we know that this is absolutely center line cut. Cut at 0.25. Oh my God. Looking at her Wally, I should have been a butcher. Hey Wally! <laughs> but this knife is just slicing through it. It's really, really very sharp.
Wow. I am impressed. I'm going to try a bot next. Look at it, man alive, is that ever pink? So that's sat in there curing for the the Morton's recommended seven days, turning every day. And I'm cutting that not quite at 90, I think I've got about a 10 degree angle on it here. Wow, look at it, holy Christ. And I'm cutting it at, at let's just say, 0.25 of an inch. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm getting excited. Holy Christ, look at it, wow. Now, when we cook this, we're going to cook it probably about four minutes aside, maybe five because it's it's so thick. Oh my Christ! Oops, Christ! That was close. Watch your fingers. But that is basically it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Twenty two and you know how much you would pay for that? in the store it's <laughs> unbelievable so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pack this up take out what we're going to have tonight and then pack the rest up in little batches in the freezer bags and that's good to go yeah ever nice ever pink oh man alive let's revive a 45 a eh? Look at it, wow. Pea-meal bacon. From the center cut loin. This is how you do it. 